Hello and welcome back to the semi truck tutorial. This is part 14 and what we're going to be doing in this part of the tutorial is the exhaust pipes as shown in this image here and the little trailer hitch or whatever you want to call that thing where the uh, trailer hooks onto I believe. As you can tell I don't know that really that much about semis but uh, as, as they go down the road now on the highway I'm definitely paying a lot more attention to looking at the details on them and hopefully learning a little bit more about them. So if we look kind of full screen here, you can see the exhaust here. I'm going to do something a little bit different than what they have here. And then this area here. I was looking for a good top view of this, but I really didn't find anything that was really better than this, unfortunately. So, But that's close enough to, to get us where we need to go, I think. So let's go ahead and get started. Again, I'm going to use the side view here. And I'm just going to start out by, let's see, I think I will make it part of this section here. And I'm just going to create a cylinder. And what is it on 16? 16, that's, yeah, let's make it 12. It doesn't really need to be that high. And let's take the uh, caps out of it. Don't need any caps. Make sure we have clipping turned off. Come back in here. Scale it down and move it over. So maybe something sort of like that size. And scale along the z-axis. And need to smooth it. Actually, it still looks a little bit too big. So, scale it down. Something like that. Scale on the z-axis some more. Okay, and let's grab these vertices here and Oop. not that one and bring this up go into our side view and this one here just kind of stops at the top and it has probably a little cover on it or something but what I actually want to do is let's bring it down here and e extrude and I just want to kind of curve it a little bit Make another extrusion out. Maybe something like that. Just kind of gives a little bit more character to me. I don't know. That's just me. But so then, if you want to, you can come down here and take the um, bottom vertices and let's see. Get the back view. Yeah, let's come up a little bit keep getting uh, vertices that I don't want to select. Okay, I think we're good. Alright, so bring it up a little bit and I'm just going to e-extrude down a little bit. I'm just rotating that. And just trying to, you know, bend them underneath there so it looks like they're actually going somewhere. I 
which would be to the engine to the exhaust manifold I would say okay so that kind kind of gives you the exhaust pipes um, if you want to you could go ahead and give them the chrome material also I think what I'll do is give a, just a little bit more detail like if you go in here and you added a, an edge loop brought it down another edge loop brought it down and maybe one as well up here and okay I didn't mean to end up with three here so I can grab that one and just delete the edge loop go into face mode <clears throat> so I'll select that one come up here and shift alt select that one and I'm going to extrude and not along the z-axis so E shift Z Oop. And, oh. I'm getting tired I guess E and scale shift Z so bring that out a little bit. Extrude and then another scale shift Z. Just something like that. Um, maybe actually another extrude on top of that. Scale shift Z. Just a little bit to give it that sharp detail and that kind of gives you know the impression that you have some kind of clamps there or something that's holding it to the back of this sleeper cab uh, of course you can make clamps as well be another way to do it okay so that's kind of basically the pipes there let's go ahead and go into side view let's go ahead and get this I think this is probably a drivetrain. Uh, let's go ahead and make that. I'm going to make it part of this structure here. So I'm going to tab into edit mode, shift, shift A, make a cylinder, and I'm going to leave it. Actually, this one doesn't need to be very much at all. I'll leave it at 12. Um, doesn't need any caps. But one thing that we don't need is we don't need it to be mirrored because it's actually going to be in the middle. But that's okay. I mean, I'll make the one. I mean, I'll make the I'll make it mirrored, and then later on when I apply the mirror, I'll just delete one of them. But I'm just going to do a R X ninety and just scale it down. And I'm going to just make sure that, uh, let's see, yeah, I just put it kind of close but not too close so it's not messing with up that other. Just, just so it makes it easy to uh, delete the extra one when you mirror it. So bring it down here, scale it down quite a bit. It looks like a very small drive shaft, but anyway. Scale along the Y. And I don't really see any need to extrude it. I'm just going to leave it as is. So scale along the Y. Something like that. Smooth that. 
Okay, we kind of need sort of like some cross members between here, I think, and I think this area right here probably do fine. So I'm just going to extrude this over and make sure that it turn on clipping here so that it'll merge itself or at least clip to that like so and let's see what we got here to work with nothing really so I'm gonna go ahead and create an edge loop make it about that big and do sort of the same thing, just grab this one here, extrude it. Okay, so then we have the base for our hitch thing there. Okay, so for this part on the back, which I've learned is called a fifth wheel, um, I have found an image of it, and it looks sort of like this. So, not really a big deal, but uh, at least I have an idea what it looks like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to do this with a cylinder. So I'm just going to do create a cylinder and I'm going to come in here and I'll leave it at 12 but I'm going to use the triangle fan for the top and go into the top view and just move it down here and scale along the Z not going to put it at an angle yet okay so I want to try to get this indent these indents in there a little bit if I can so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try something that I haven't done in a long time and that's use the knife I think that's uh, control K. Nope. Or, oh, hold on. I think it's just K. And just going to go across here like so. And hit enter. Okay. And again. I'm going to duplicate that enter okay oh, looks like I missed some pieces here somehow I don't know what happened. Just might adjust my geometry a little bit. Okay, not perfect, but that should work. Let's take this one, this one, this one, and this one and change to individual origins and extrude individual scale them down and extrude individual again scale it down something like that I guess and then we're going to take these I'll go ahead and take all of them I'm going to delete this section of it but I'll go ahead and extrude this and uh, change this back to medium point and just extrude downward okay go into wireframe 
and just take all of this here and delete it. See what we have. Let's try to fill in these faces. And this only works because Blender now supports ingons. Otherwise, you couldn't do this. There you go. So let's go ahead and add the uh, subdivision surface. See what this is going to look like. Smooth it. And what we'll do is we'll take these, scale on the X. Oops. Turn this occlude off. Let's see if we can bring that forward a little bit. So what we have here is it's kind of pulling too much, so I'm just going to grab these uh, outer vertices and scale X, bring those in, and looking pretty weird, but It might be okay for our purposes. I probably should have did that a different way, but anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going to spend any more time on this thing. Just rotate it a little bit, put it into position. And there's our fifth wheel. And we really need something underneath it, so I need kind of a rear view to see what should be there. But another thing that we want to do, and you can go ahead and do this on your own, is just create some um, interiors here that is like the, um, the fender cover area. So you'll have something black in here that will hide the interior there, because you don't want it to like see through the, the truck on that part. So for the next video what we're going to do is finish up the remaining little details. Uh, those are the details like the the lights up here at the top, the lights down here, um, the horns, and like I said if, if you're comfortable with doing all that yourself then that video you can actually skip if you want. But I'm going to include it just uh, you know not leave anybody out in the cold on finishing the details of the truck. So um, we'll do that next and see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.